Greetings and salutations. This is Codam50, and I've got a simple little uh, on-off controlled by a button mechanism I wanted to show you really quickly. Um, this is taking me several months of trial and error to complete. Uh, more error than anything else, but it's finally done. By using a single button, I can turn anything on or turn anything off. And basically how this works is I use the pistons to control which circuit is going to have power flowing through it and that changes the conditions of the memory and when the memory switches over it also changes which piston is up and which pistons down so um, this is a pretty straightforward uh, hold on it rains way too much on my server it's it's terrible it's like every five minutes and it rains for like 20. <laughs> So it's a very simple circuit. It can be compacted a little bit more, but there it is. Um, it lets me turn it on or turn it off with a single button. I know I could use a lever, but it's not as fun. I just wanted to know that I could do it. So here it is uh, from a couple sides. If you wanted to build it yourself and then mess around with it, that's cool. Um, I'll try to show you at a few more quick angles here. And so, yep, there it is. This took me a long time to build, and I was surprised on how hard it was going to be. Um, the only real reason I was having problems is because every time I tried to build a memory circuit of any kind, I kept getting this type of problem. Where either it wouldn't turn on, even though it looks like it should, but it doesn't. Or every time it does, it keeps resetting itself. So, yeah, all of these are failed experiments, and I've torn down many of them. So, here it is, finally completed. Thank you for watching.